This is a brief tutorial on how to use MATLAB to be able to import data, uh, maybe do some analysis on that data, uh, and generate a trend, and then be able to export that data as well. Let's say I have my data in this text file. Um, just while I'm opening up MATLAB, I'll show you this uh, text file. I have different columns of data. You can also see not a number here. For some of those, they're separated by commas. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is when MATLAB opens up, I'm going to change the directory in which it's uh, in which it's looking for files. Uh, the current run directory of the uh, the MATLAB. I'm going to go over my desktop, and then when I select that folder, I'll see my data file show up here. I have my workspace, and then some of my prior commands that I've issued. Um, in this case, I just want to load my data file. So I'm going to do data file.txt, and it's going to be show up here. Um, let me just go ahead and open that. Um, double click this uh, data file okay and uh, there I can see um, all of my data that I have a time column I have four sensors but uh, actually eight sensors but four of them are not a number so they're bad uh, sensor data <clears throat> so what I want to do first of all is, is just define a time column okay just a time vector uh, from my data file I just want to grab just the first um, just the first column so here I go row comma column. So I want my colon that or my uh, colon there that is going to be uh, indicating all of the rows. I could also do one to end, uh, but a shorthand way to do that is just put a colon there. So that says use all of them. Now if I put a semicolon at the end, that just means suppress the output. Okay. If I didn't put a semicolon at the end, it would show all of the values. Okay, that came out of that. Um, let me go ahead and just clear the screen here just so I'm working at the top. I didn't clear any of the variables, but CLC will clear your screen. Uh, now I want to use, uh, you know, uh, indicate which sensors I want to, to grab. Um, and so let me just get those from the, uh, the data file that I had. I want all, um, all the columns, and then let me do. Um, Let's see, that's going to be 2 to end. Okay, so I want from 2 all the way to the end uh, for my sensors. And then let me just take a look at just the first, um, uh, let's see, maybe uh, six rows of my data. Okay, and uh, so I just want my first six rows and all of my columns. Okay, so there are my, there's my data right there. So you can see the first four, those are, are good numbers, and then I have not a number. So let's say, say I don't want to uh, deal with the other ones. Uh, let me just eliminate those from my my sensors. Okay, so I want all of my rows, but just columns one through four um, instead of all of them. And so then if I go up again um, uh, with the up arrow, I can select prior commands. I just want my first six, and there you can see I've eliminated my um, columns five through eight. Okay, so now what I want to do is is uh, generate a, a figure. Well, actually, let me do a, an average value. I'm going to average all of uh, you know the sensor values. So it's like I'm going to add a new column here um, to my my sensors that, that indicates an average. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do the mean function, and then I'm going to uh, do sensors. And then I'm going to take the mean on the either the first or the second dimension. So if I do the second dimension, that's going to um, take the mean of all of the rows because I'm I'm adding I'm uh, taking the average over um, over all of the columns. Um, okay, so there's my average, and you can see it's a 1,200 by one that fits uh, in with the in the number of rows. So I took this one, for example, my average, let me just do, um, this is going to be 1 to 6, um, and I'll just show the averages for those first six. Okay, so now what I want to do is maybe generate a plot, um, maybe just looking at my second sensor and my average. Um, so let me um, just generate a plot with time and then sensors I'm just going to get my my second sensor okay and then I'm also going to maybe um, label that as a red line um, 
Okay, so uh, when it opens up, you'll be able to see a red line. Then I'm going to hold on to that plot so it doesn't get rid of it when I do my next plot command. And then I'm going to do time and then my average. And then let me do that as a the blue dots. Okay. Um, okay, and then when I open up that plot again, I can see my average values as blue dots. And then I'm going to add a legend for example, and then this is uh, going to be sensor um, 2, and then my average. Um, okay, and then I can do, um, so for example, things like um, X label. Okay, and that's going to be time in seconds. Okay, and uh, Y label, um, let's say that is a sensor. Uh, values. Okay, I could put units there if I wanted to. And so now I have a trend that's built. Um, I can go over to File um, and then do Save As, for example. Now this will uh, let me export it in a number of different formats um, that I could insert into a presentation. MATLAB.FIG uh, or FIG file, that one is only really compatible with MATLAB, so you might want to do it something like with a PNG for example. Okay, so it's going to save that uh, figure as a PNG and then I can access it later. So now what I want to cover um, briefly is just how to export this this data back out of, uh, of MATLAB. So now um, I have um, you know, all of this data. I'm just going to put it um, uh, I'm going to name it export Okay, um, data and I had uh, a data file before, but uh, what I'm going to do is, is just put this all into a matrix. Okay, so now I have my time values, um, and then I also have my sensors, and then I also have average. Okay, so my export data, you can see that's going to be a 1200 by 6. So the first column, um, if I look at my export data, my first column is going to be my time. Okay, so let me just get my first six here, um, and I'll do all of them. So my first one is going to be time. Um, it kind of washed it out because time is so large. And then I have my different sensor values, and then also um, here is my average. Okay, so let's say I want to zero out my time, uh, make it start with, with zero instead. Let me just go back up. Um, I can do my time minus time one one okay and then when I do that again um, with just my first six you'll see that I start with zero now because I subtracted from each of those time values I subtracted just the very first you know the starting one okay um, and now I want to be able to export uh, this data and so what I can do is save uh, save command and then dash ASCII, uh, that's just a text format, and then I want to give it a, a name. Um, now I'll say exported uh, data um, dot txt, and then I want to select the variable that I want to export. In this case, it's going to be export data. Okay, so when I click save, um, then it's going to come up with the exported data there on the on the left, let me just go look at that with a text editor. Um, so I'm going to use Notepad++ uh, plus plus to look at this. So you can see my time values, my four sensors, and then the average values there. Okay, so that uh, concludes this um, this brief tutorial on how to import data into MATLAB, how to uh, run a few calculations, trend the data, and then export the data into a text file.